Let's go to the, the most heavily tanned reporter. Normally, reporters are quite sort of yeah, pale. Look at him. Overworked. <laughs> Has he got there. shorts on? Normally, he's got shorts Underpaid, on. Underpaid, the moaning. And look Do you know at what? Him. Look I... at him, fit, tanned. Isn't it but... time to get a waistcoat like Gareth Southgate, Jonathan? <laughs> I tell you what, it's like you're transforming into the England manager. Now, Sweeney, Sweeney, put it, put it into perspective. You're Not there. In this heat. You're there. I mean, obviously, it's, it's, the, it's the hope that kills. I certainly wouldn't want to wear the waistcoat like Gareth Southgate because I'm boiling now just in this shirt. But, yes, we were inside that uh, stadium yesterday. That's going to becoming iconic now, isn't it, in uh, English sort of... Uh, footballing history. We were inside there just cheering on the goal. We're sitting in the press box actually. Normally it's quite polite in the press box. You know, people just gently applaud uh, when a goal goes in. But I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six, we're on our feet celebrating, celebrating with a beer afterwards with the rest of the fans as well. And you're just talking about the atmosphere here in the World Cup. You know, Russia, uh, could not be the better hosts, I have to say. As you say, there's been no trouble. Uh, the England fans were cheering last night in the restaurants until, what, the early hours. And you know what? The Russian um, families were walking past. They're bemused by the English uh, football songs. They got their iPhones out, taking pictures, taking videos. England fans are reciprocating, you know, having photographs back with, the, with all the local people. I could not over... Um, over uh, what? state just how much of a party uh, it is here. And we were inside that stadium yesterday uh, watching the game unfolds. In Nizhny, the England fans haven't stopped singing. Well, England just continue to march on through this tournament. It's Belgium next, but who cares? We've already qualified. As long as we, we, we start well, both half, we, we, we're, we're very good and, like you say, with the abilities, unbelievable. And if we can try and get the clean sheet, it'll be even better. First half, we played very well. Um, Scored a lot of goals, you know, obviously we could have done that in the first game as Tunisia, but, you know, we're all delighted with the win and we move on now. No big celebrations on board the bus, but let's just hope there are many stops at Russian cities ahead. Jonathan Swain, Good Morning Britain, Nizhny Novgorod. So, 